distinguished guests, eminent guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to host the fifth Peace and Unity Conference here in the City Chambers. And to start off with, I just would like to thank the recitation of the Koran. I think it was, even if I don't understand the words as such, I understand the beauty in the words and in the melody. So thank you for that recitation. And of course, welcome everyone. A minister, first minister, welcome. <laughs> like you, I am so much looking forward to a stimulating and challenging program exploring how education can help to promote peace and unity. And I have to admit, we are living in a world that is facing challenging times where fear and ignorance helps to promote and provoke violence and ignorance, violence and aggressions. And of course, like bullying and trolling across social media platforms, many of us are aware about that. And uh, all the atrocities around the world that comes to us on screen media daily. We all have a responsibility, individual and collective, to be mindful of the value and importance of preserving peace and unity. Precious commodities that people have died for. This weekend I will have the honor of leading Glasgow's Armistice Day service in George Square, just outside here signaling the end of four years of centenary commemorations for the First World War. So it is time to have an event like this that allows us all to come together with a common goal focused on the prizes of peace and unity. To all of you involved, thank you so much for your effort and commitment to this important case and to arrange this conference again now for the fifth time. I am proud to say Glasgow is generally viewed as a tolerant and multicultural city. I'm just a very small example of that, being from Sweden originally myself. We have so many countries represented in the city. We are home to second and third generation families from around the globe, including Irish, Italian, Greek, Chinese, Indian, Pakistani. And of course, more lately, we have had um, more people coming from the African continent as well. Ladies and gentlemen, it is within Glasgow schools that this multicultural is most keenly demonstrated. With more than 100 different languages spoken by pupils who have English as a second language. And what better way to celebrate our city's diversity than all our children learning and playing together, witnessing for themselves how much we all have in common and realizing that we essentially to share the same dreams and aspirations. We are all humans together. Like everyone here, I know it is Scotland's and Glasgow's diversity and tolerance that makes us stronger and richer at all levels of society. And to all of you who have made your home here, we are delighted to have you and very aware of your social and economic contribution to our society. I know this conference is exploring the role of education in building peaceful and unified world by allowing our children access to free, fair and inclusive education. And I can assure you that Glasgow is committed to this course. We are excited about our partnership with the MCR Pathway Foundation, headed by Dr. Ian McRitchie, whose mentoring and talent development methods are having a positive impact on some of our most vulnerable secondary school pupils. It is a project we piloted and now are rolling out across all our secondary schools, and the evidence proves it is working. For our pioneering partnership with this, with the MCR Foundation and other partners, is helping us to close the attainment gap, delivering clear and radical improvement outcomes for those leaving school. And that is good for society and good for our economy. Friends, in the real world, this is actually priceless. We are making a positive difference. And it is true for all of us, wherever we are from, that our children are our greatest priority and our future. But it is us as adults that have to take our responsibility to be good role models 
and be aware about how we are affecting and influencing people at all times. We can't leave it just to the children to carry on the mantle. We have to take our responsibility and be the good role model we expect other people to be. Events like this are an ideal way, a way of bringing people together, people from different faiths and cultures, in peace and harmony and understanding. So let us show this by working together to make sure that all our citizens can flourish in an environment of respect and mutual understanding. Thank you. Thank you.